although Delhi has got some slight relief from air pollution as the air quality index has improved from severe to very bad category, but the pictures from Yamuna are still concerning. I can show you the situation right here at the Kalindi Konj Yamuna Bank where the froth and foam can be seen all over. You can see a white layer over the Yamuna water all over. There is not even a, a slight space which is available uh, here which can see, uh, which can show us cleaner water. So this is the same situation or even the worst than uh, worst situation than what we have seen during Chhat festivity and a lot of politics happened over the cleaning of Yamuna and Yamuna pollution. So uh, the same concerning pictures have uh, emerged once again and here you can see that how foam is coming uh, from Delhi and going towards Uttar Pradesh side in Yamuna. So this is the situation right here. I can show you uh, some more pictures where uh, even uh, some of the fishermen, they are trying to uh, sail their boats in the filthy Yamuna and uh, even though Yamuna is polluted, even, uh, uh, even at that time, they are doing their job for their livelihood. But you can understand that how dangerous it could be, how harmful it could be for them when Yamuna is so polluted. There are, uh, there is a cocktail of pollutants in Yamuna, both coming from domestic as well as industrial sewage and uh, drains, and that is actually causing such kind of froth and such kind of pollution in Yamuna uh, from time and again. I can uh, definitely show you the picture, but can't explain the stinking uh, Yamuna, stinking Yamuna, which is uh, the smell, the foul smell, which is coming up to my nose. So this is the situation here. Every time politics do happen over the cleaning of Yamuna or air pollution, but nothing concrete is happening uh, either on the air pollution front or at the front of Yamuna pollution that is most concerning that is the main problem with our governments with camera person abhishek it's kumar kunal from yamuna bank at kalindi kunj for india today